In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Apple Watch problem I personally had and I believe some other people have as well. People search for this kind of stuff. So let's talk about how to avoid Siri turning on accidentally, randomly or by itself on the Apple Watch. It happened to me a couple of times during the day and then I discovered the problem, at least in my case. Well, as you know, you can activate Siri just by holding down the digital crown on the side of the Apple Watch. The other option is to simply uh, trigger Siri by using the phrase, you know which one I'm talking about, I'm not going to say it in order not to trigger your Siri, <laughs> but anyways. But anyways, the problem is that I randomly clicked and held down to the digital crown on the side of the Apple Watch just by doing regular tasks throughout the day. But in most cases it was when I was leaning on it to the table or something and I was having and like uh, leaning with the hand like this with the wrist uh, pushing on the digital crown and uh, triggering Siri accidentally. And there are some ways how you can avoid it. And first you can disable Siri completely and you can do that very easily in uh, the settings of your Apple Watch. You can do it on uh, the iPhone. So you just go to the Apple Watch app to my watch section and to click on Siri and you can disable the press digital crown thing and it's not going to happen anymore. This is kind of useful as far as I know and it, this would prevent this feature or this problem in my case. But I decided to go one step further and decided to do something else. By the way, I want to say that if you are new on this channel, what you can do is to click on the subscribe button. It's going to help you stay updated, it's going to let you know what's going on and it also helps to boost the channel and it's kind of helpful so the video can show up to more people and stuff like that. But anyways, the thing that I did was that I personally flipped the orientation of the Apple Watch, meaning that I don't have the digital crown on the right side but on the left side instead. I wear the Apple Watch on my left wrist and that means that it would make more sense to have it in the upper right corner, we we're talking about the digital crown. But now I have the digital crown in the lower left corner. So this prevents the thing when I lean on the table, it doesn't click the digital crown, it doesn't trigger Siri or anything else. This has many more benefits, I'm going to talk about that in just a second, but let me at first show you how you can get there or how you can set it up for yourself in case you want to. So this time on the Apple Watch, navigate to the settings and wait for it to load up, of course open it up and all of the regular stuff and scroll down until you go to the general section then you see the orientation tab, you tap on it and now you at first choose which wrist you are going to be wearing it on. This is kind of important because it detects the movement of your wrist and tells the Apple Watch to light up, so make sure to not lie about it and give like honest answer. And the digital crown can simply be rotated from one side to the other. I mean, the whole Apple Watch interface is going to rotate, so as a result, you get this animation and the Apple Watch rotates like this. So this is how you can set it up and here are some reasons why you would want to do that except for preventing accidental Siri triggers. One of the reasons for me is that when you use the Apple Watch like this, you are in general using the thumb to use the scrolling wheel. It means to press it and to scroll it. And I personally have much more sensitivity in my thumb compared to my index finger. Uh, I don't know about you, it's just my personal opinion on it. but. If there is something you would like to change or try out, definitely do that. It literally takes one click for you to get there. It doesn't take like a huge installation or anything like that. It's very easy to set up and I personally switch to it once and never want to come back. Another benefit, and this kind of goes in hand with the accidental Siri presses, is that it doesn't really bother you that much. The digital crown, especially if you have uh, the bigger version of the Apple Watch, if you just put your wrist like this, it would be kind of uncomfortable to be honest. It wouldn't really be the best feeling and now it cannot really happen because I cannot uh, move or bend the back side of my arm where now the digital crown is, if you know what I mean. And if in the previous case it would be kind of uncomfortable with the digital crown. It's a very tiny detail, but if you want to be a perfectionist with your Apple Watch or if you get the most, if you want to get the most out of your Apple Watch, then some little settings like these are actually kind of important. So now I want to say thank you very much for watching and your support. 
I really do hope that I gave you some value. And if I did, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'm going to read it and perhaps I will reply as well. So make sure to do that. And yeah, we'll see each other in the next video. Peace out, guys.